seminar and my topic is availability of green water in various zones of Punjab state. First of all, we start with the introduction part. Livestock sector contributes about 26% of the agricultural GDP in India. Among the livestock products, milk is the most important and feeding the cost accounts for about 70 to 75% of the total variable cost of dairy farming. When a milk animal is fed a balanced diet, it receives required nutrients to produce milk commensurate with its genetic potential. Green fodder is an essential component of feeding milk animals to obtain the optimum level of milk production, which accounts for about 44% of the feed and fodder expenditure. When it comes to enhancing the productivity of Punjab's dairy sector, the feed and fodder inadequacy issues this poses a major trend. The adequate supply of nutritive fodder and feed is a crucial factor impacting the production and performance of the <coughs> methodology. The study was conducted in three agroclimatic zones of Punjab state, that is sub mountainy zone, central zone and southwestern yeah. zone. Three districts from each zone were selected based on the highest area under for the crops. Two blocks from each district was selected, one block near and one distant to the periphery of the district headquarters was selected. A cluster of two to three villages was selected from each of these blocks making total sample of 120 dairy farmers. Scandary data has been used for accomplishing the objectives of the study. The scandary data on area production, productivity under fodder crops and livestock population in selected districts was collected from various published sources like animal, uh, basic animal husbandry stats, statistical abstract of Punjab and animal husbandry department of Punjab. The availability of green fodder was calculated by dividing the total green fodder production with the number of adult bovine. The young ones and the heifers were converted into adult units by considering the young one and heifers equal to the one adult unit. The requirement of green fodder was worked out by considering recommended 40 kg green fodder required per adult animal per day. In order to accomplish the objectives of study, appropriate statistical tools and techniques like averages and percentages were used to draw the relevant inferences. Area under fodder crops and uh, gross crop area over time in Punjab during 2016-17 is 8.95 lakh hectare. Uh, gross crop area uh, is almost stagnated since 2000. Uh, 2000 to 2001, uh, it has increased to 78.72 lakh hectares. Regarding area under fodder crops, in the state fodder crop, uh, fodder area is increasing over time. That is 8.95 lakh hectares during uh, 2016 to 2017. Production and, production and yield of fodder crops over time in Punjab. Total production of both Ravi and Kreef crops uh, is 44.93 million tons during 2000 and it has increased to 57.48 million tons during 2016-17. to 17. Similarly, yield during 2000 is 580.56 quintal per hectare and it has increased to 642.22 uh, quintals per hectare. Fodder availability and deficiency in various zones of Punjab state during 2016-17. to 17. Fodder availability is highest in a central zone that is 36.22 million tons followed by the southwestern zone that is 12.13% and a sub mountainous zone that is 9.13%. Deficiency percent deficiency is highest in central zone that is 14.06% uh, million tons followed by southwestern zone and sub mountainous zone. Overall deficiency of green fodder in Punjab is 22.99 million tons. Zone wise requirement to increase the area under fodder or yield of fodder crops in Punjab state. Area 
if she levels of fodder crops remain the same, then area under fodder crops will have to be increased to 12.53 lakh hectares instead of uh, 8.95 lakh hectares that is existing area under fodder. Similarly, if area, uh, area is kept constant, then yield of fodder required will be increased to 899.08 quintals per hectare instead of 642.22 quintals per hectare that is the existing yield of fodder. Conclusions The state is deficient in green fodder. The deficiency is about 22.99 million tons that is 28.57% of the green fodder requirement. Green fodder production can be substantially enhanced either by increasing the fodder area or improving the yield levels. Area available for cultivation has almost stagnated, rather it has started declining over the years and hence fodder area cannot be increased indiscriminately. The more emphasis should be given for improving the yield levels of existing varieties and developing new high yielding varieties and nutritional varieties. Thank you. Any motivation, any question? Dr. Kalamukar, is a director of ARC in Gujarat. I am happy to see that 